Hello everyone, John Waffle HTP here, and today I'm going to talk about some concerning news at a conference realignment and out of the future of college football and economics in general. Guys, this is a very concerning time, and you can see it on the faces of these Big 12 locales, um, like John Kurtz, like all these other like locked on Big 12, like Kuz's Corner, like some of the other Big 12 fanboys, and I'm not attacking all of these schools because I think it's actually unfair, like schools like Oklahoma State and Baylor, that they're going through this. Guys, this is a very concerning topic. Um, as you can see, there's a controversy going on with the NCAA like they've been doing all year, but now this time, it sounds like they want to make a subdivision where it's just going to be a power two. Now, we're not surprised about this, but it's gone way too fast now, and it's disgusting that ESPN and Disney really want to cut half of these teams out of college football. Now, I'll be honest. I was on John Kurtz last night, and um, I said... Uh, things would be a lot better if they could just dump like schools like Kansas State and Iowa State. Now, don't get mad at me. I'm just telling the truth. Those schools really haven't produced anything. They LARPed in the conference for like the be since the beginning of time, and it's just the reality here. Um, those schools like that have really been holding the Big 12 back, and that's really the reason why I think Oklahoma and Texas left. I mean... There's other things, too. I mean, they lost half their conference back in the two th tw early 2010s, but the same thing. There's not there's not really excitement there, and you, you saw it this year. Everyone just beat each other up. Theoretically, yes, Oklahoma State should be in the Fiesta Bowl or a, a New Year's Six Bowl, but guys, they really they lost to South Alabama and got destroyed by UCF. You can't do that to get in these major bowl games. I'm just sorry. Um, and the fact is, I don't think things are going to get better. As you know, the top t 12 teams this year, if we're going to a 12-team playoff, are just Big Ten and SEC schools. Now, do I think Missouri and Ole Miss deserve to be in the top 10 or top 12 in that matter? I, I, that could be debatable. I think Ole Miss is a lot better of a team than Missouri. Missouri really, I mean, they're both 10-win teams this year. But, I mean, who have they really played to earn those wins? I mean, down year LSU, down year Tennessee, uh, just a bunch of down year Blue Bloods. They got just, both got destroyed by Georgia back-to-back. -back. I mean, come on, guys. That's the reality of the situation. And is Missouri as a fan base really bigger than a school like Arizona? I mean, come on. Are you seriously going to tell me that? And that's the thing here. This is not just about Pitt. This is about schools that I think have a lot bigger of a, of a brand nationally than Pitt, like Arizona, Arizona State, BYU, maybe even Oklahoma State to some standpoint. And, I mean, there's others, too. I mean, it's just not good. Are you really going to tell me that Northwestern and Vanderbilt and Mississippi State are more valuable than, like, Kansas and Missouri and uh, Kansas and Arizona to national championship basketball programs? And, I, yes, I know this is about football. Revenue drives the sport. But those are two public schools in massive states. Well, at least Arizona's case, it is a massive state. That is a complete middle finger to them in that way. Are they going to move up to the Big Ten? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but I mean, it's absolutely sad that you're having schools like Purdue and Northwestern come out and start poaching coaches. And I'm not a Big 12 fan at all. In fact, I mean, I don't like the Big 12. And honestly, you're seeing all this merger, people wanting to join the Big 12. If the Big 12 is losing out, what's the point of joining? You're not going to get another revenue here. You got to keep these coaches intact. I mean, you can't be losing coaches to Northwestern. And, I mean, that's not that's not attractive. And I know, yes, Pitt is probably not going to go to the Big Ten or the, or the SEC. But for our case, we're kind of screwed. And four years ago, I would say, screw it. Yeah, we did it to ourselves. 
But after the Kenny Pickett error, see where this program could actually go. And yes, don't tell me, well, the, a lot of the teams were bad that year. It doesn't matter, guys. It doesn't matter. We could have done good last year. We could have done good this year if we had the right players. And because of the situation with the transfer portal and NIL, it's getting all screwed out. This is terribly, this is terrible economics here. This is absolutely atrocious. And no one should be happy about this. Like I said, yes, a lot of people don't care about the Kansas States, the Iowa States of the world. And I'm sorry for the fan bases, the fans of those teams and the people who are going to come and defend me. We can't have college football without K-State. Well, guys, I didn't really even know K-State was even a thing until I saw them with Colin Klein in 2012, if I'm being honest with you. They really haven't been on my radar. Maybe I like saw them as a random team that no one really cared about until I saw them and heard about their story in 2012. And I've been watching college football since the early 2000s. So, I mean, I know, I mean, I just, I, I really wasn't a Big 12 fan, but I mean, I know about Barry Sanders, Oklahoma State. I know about um, Baylor, RG3. I, of course, TCU. I mean, they were always a Mountain West team. Um, they were a very good team back in the day. Kind of used to root for them, like, because of their cool helmets and stuff. But uh, some of these country teams like K-State, I mean, I know Kansas is known for basketball, the state. And I, when I think of the state of Kansas, I think of the Jayhawks, not <laughs> Kansas State. But enough of that rant. I'm sorry for all you K-State fans. I'm just telling the truth here. It's not fair to the rest of college football like Arizona. Even the pit to some standpoint. I know I get a little cocky with them here, but I understand they're not a blue blood. I understand what the program was. I understand who ruined the program. And it's unfair. It's unfortunate. And if it never happened, we would be in the Big Ten now laughing at everyone else. But the reality here is, I mean, this is not good. And this is not good for schools like West Virginia. I'm going to defend their team. I mean, they're the flagship school of their state. They're going to have a lot of people going on. And they have a lot of trouble going on with resources right now. And, I mean, they're not helping themselves being in this conference. They probably should have went to the ACC um, in 2011. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what have made a difference. But <laughs> the ACC really screwed up. And I'm talking about a, a financial standpoint. I don't know what we could have done. I mean, it was a whole situation. But we had eight years to get something done for Pitt. You had a lot of time. Like, Clemson was the only team that really made a name for themselves. Yes, UVA and North Carolina, but mostly UVA, astonishingly, is some kind of big brand, which I live in Virginia. I do not see too many UVA fans. I see more tech fans, and that's just the reality here. I know Vatech was the biggest brand in college football and UVA probably everything else. But, I mean, if they're going from an academic standpoint, I mean, yeah, I get it. But at the same time, I mean, you're really going to say that's better than Arizona? A top 25 team this year? I believe they're in the Alamo Bowl. I mean, I mean, it's they're not Alabama or anything. But looking at the brand size, I mean, are you serious? I mean, are you serious, people? Again, I mean, you have Oklahoma State. I mean, they're second tier to Oklahoma, but they have one of the most respected athletic programs in the NCAA, in my opinion. They're up there with the Stanfords and UCLA's. Are they going to really get left out? I mean, come on, people. I mean, this is just a complete sham that's going on. And it, it is becoming the... NFL. And guys, if you don't really believe me, I, I think Florida State's out of this conference in two weeks. And I mean, you can blame stuff on their fans. I mean, you can blame stuff on their administration. And I even said they don't deserve to be in the final four. I made the description. I think Georgia was the one that got robbed. And a lot of people are going to call me an SEC homer. But at the end of the day, you can't lose two quarterbacks and basically act like you're going to be a top tier team. You got to have your you got to have all your players in place. And I mean, 
it wouldn't be a game if I'm being honest. I'm just being honest right there. You're not going to beat the Penix, the Penix, <laughs> sorry, Penixes. You're not going to beat the Michigans, the, uh, the Oregons, the Al maybe Alabama's too. Yeah, it's good. It's just tough. And I mean, we don't even know who's going to win. It doesn't matter. And again, I was all cringe on TCU last year. I really didn't think they didn't, they didn't deserve it last year. And this year, I'm saying maybe like a team like, I, I said Washington, but I mean, they have the weakest schedule. They played Oregon twice and got lucky. Alabama won the SEC. Of course, they need to get in. And they played against Texas. Texas is obviously a great team. They deserve to be in. And so does Michigan. They deserve to, I think they're winning the national championship. The reason I pick on Washington, because they got a lucky break with some of these teams. And I don't think that's, I mean, good. They could easily be 7-5 and five right now. But because of luck, they're not. So it was between, but they have a better quarterback. That's all I have to say. They don't deserve to be number two. Maybe they deserve because they're undefeated. That's it. I think uh, I would definitely say Texas should be number two. And they should be number three like TCU was last year. But I, I regress. I just... Don't like where what's going on. Uh, of course, Washington and Oregon are going to the Big Ten next year. That makes biased. And you saw the analytics. You saw the economics to all this. I mean, the top 12 are all Big Ten and fe future Big Ten and SEC besides Florida State, which is the controversial one out. Um, no Big 12 team besides Texas, who's leaving the conference, is going to a New Year's Six Bowl. No ACC team besides crippled Florida State, which is about to probably leave the freaking conference, is going to a New Year's Six Bowl. I mean, you have bowl controversies all over the place. And I said this is a terrible look for the, for the, for the bowl games. This is a terrible look for the ACC. In my opinion, why the heck is... Notre Dame out there playing Oregon State. Why aren't they in the Mayo Bowl? And I, I heard a lot of Notre Dame fans not wanting the Mayo Bowl, but I mean, they have a better matchup. I think West Virginia, Notre Dame would be a better matchup than Oregon State, Notre Dame. I mean, we haven't seen these te teams play since pretty much the 88 title game, if I'm not mistaken. You can call me out in the title, in the chat. I really don't care. I mean, we have, I mean, I want to see teams that don't play each other play. I mean, North Carolina, West Virginia, I think that would be one of the best bowls. Notre Dame, Oregon State. Notre Dame should cream Oregon State. And Oregon State, I mean, I was rooting for them to really just break this off. They couldn't do it. I mean, they couldn't do this. I mean, when you want to root for these teams that I know that have a chance to get in these super conferences, you need to start pulling out. You need to beat the Oregons. You need to beat the the Washingtons, you, you can't just go 0 and 2. I mean, that's just sad. I mean, that's theoretically, if they would have beat Washington or Oregon, they would have been in the title game. And you wouldn't probably see Oregon, or maybe you would, but I mean, you would probably see a Big 12 team. I don't know, maybe Oklahoma State in a New Year's Six Bowl. But it's not like that. You could see something's changing and the fans, I mean, some of these SEC fans are delusional. And I understand where we're coming from. Again, I'm not talking about Pitt here. I'm talking about a comparison between Arizona and Missouri. Are you really going to say which is bigger? I mean, are we going to really sit here and tell me which is bigger? I see more Arizona fans and Missouri fans over on the East Coast. Just saying. But, I mean, this is out of control. Um, and for anyone that's defending this crap, I mean, if the top 20 just leave and do their own thing, it's going to be bad. But it, 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 won't, it will make more sense, unfortunately. And then you see, like, Miami getting left out, which, I mean, I don't know about that. That may be a whole different situation. But I digress. I mean, I don't know what's going on. I mean, teams are getting exposed. Um, and it's just unfair. And... Things won't change. It just won't. But um, it's alarming, but we got to stick through this. Uh, I don't know what's going to go on. I don't like this ACC Big 12 merger as this article that I you pretty much use for a background that's going on. But, I mean, things just need to change. Um, 
I, I mean, things probably won't change, actually. It's just going to get worse. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of disgusting in a way. So, <sighs> again, guys, um, like, subscribe, share this video. Please get let this get to 50 subscribers by the end of the week. I mean, I've been on 48. I don't know why these just don't get viewed a lot. I mean, I get it. Like, I don't make a lot all the time. But I just could, I would appreciate over 50 subscribers. That's a pretty lenient goal. I'm at 48 right now. Just get me there. But I regress. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.